Ho, ho, ho. No, it's not Christmas yet, but it does feel like Christmas because Adobe has just updated the Lightroom. We have new version, version 14.0. This is called October 2024 release. And there's actually one feature that many of you just like I am, are gonna be really excited for like those of you who are now sitting in your editing caves and editing the summer wedding photos, the fall wedding photos. This is probably one of the busiest times of the year for all the wedding photographers. And this feature actually can speed up your workflow. So let me just show it to you how it works and show you like little tips and tricks how I made it work even better for me as I've been trying this like whole morning now. So first of all, to update your Lightroom, you have to go to Creative Cloud app and then just find your Lightroom Classic update and hit update. Upon opening the new Lightroom Classic, it will prompt you that it needs to create a new catalog. So it's gonna create another version, new version of the catalog next to your old version of the catalog. You can always go back if for some reason this Lightroom is gonna be not working well, you can always go back and use your old catalog. But from my experience, this version is just way better performance wise than the previous one. Like the previous one was so bad for me that I was literally waiting for this because it was ruining my entire workflow. So after opening, you will see this window showing you a bunch of new features, including the one that I am mostly excited about called generative remove with additional object detection feature. So that's like the major update feature. That's the major feature of this Lightroom Classic. There's also some new denoise option for different type of files. So for those of you who want to use denoise on DNG files and so on, you're gonna be able to do it. There's uh, some optimized tethering for Nikon cameras. There's new cameras and lenses supports. And there is some, uh, like they call them other feature enhancements. But the one we're gonna be looking at is the removal. So I'm gonna look at the photos from the wedding I've just shot last weekend. Um, so this, this, this is a sneak peek that I delivered to my clients and there were a couple moments that I wish I had this feature because I already delivered these photos. Uh, so look at the, the, this picture. So this is just after the ceremony, they're sitting like all the photos I have from this moment have sa sadly like some people in the back, there was just a line of people in the back and I just love this moment between them. It's just ruined by this lady right here. So of course we were able before to either go in Photoshop and remove that person or in Lightroom there was an option to remove before but it was not working as well as it works now. And now it also has this new detect object feature. So you select detect objects, you have your brush and you just brush over that person that you wanna uh, remove. And it should automatically, as you can see, select that person and the staff around that person. And for me, that is a problematic part. I wish it was like detecting the person like way better than, than this. I don't need that extension beyond that person um, because let me show you how it works by default. By default, if I'm gonna now remove and click to remove that person from the back, I'm gonna wait a moment and bam, that person is removed. There's something weird here. I know why, I'm gonna show you why in a second. But the worst part about this is it also changed back of the head of my groom. This is something that I clearly don't want. I don't want to mess and you know AI stuff of the stuff that was in the image. I just want to remove like the lady. And the problem of this thing right here, why is it showing a thing here is because the selection was not perfect. As you can see, there was a piece of her left out you know, not selected and Adobe just added stuff thinking, oh, there's like a piece of black thing in the back. So let me extend that and create that this weird, I don't know what's that, a tripod. So let's go back again, the brush, let's select that person, but let's go here, boom. Okay, so now the entire person should be removed. Let's click remove just to show you how it works. Bam, it's removed beautifully. There's some heads in the back, but there are three variations that you can go through, cycle through and pick the right one. Let's say this is like the semi okay one, but we are encountering the other problem, meaning we're like adding a piece of, 
you know, head to him, which is not working really well. So let's remove this once again. And let me show you the third, the third way of doing this the best way. So we're detecting the person, but now we're going to use this feature here, subtract. And we have another brush that we can brush out the things that we want to keep as original. I'm going to get as close as I can to the edge. I wish it done this automatically. I'm not sure why it isn't doing this, but I feel this should work the best now. Boom. And this is the photo I'm actually happy with. This is the solution that I'm happy with. Let's just go back so you can see. This is the before, this is after, that's with my edit. So it did add it like a slight amount of the hair back here, which I don't like. So this is like my feedback to Adobe. I hope you can change this. I don't want to be messing up with the, my subject. So the groom, I just want to remove the stuff in the back, but that's still way better than it was before. Let's take a look at this picture. This is the next one. So this is from a first dance and I'm not sure how I feel about this DJ standing, like sticking out from, from them. Like the, the image is okay, but, but it would be so much cleaner without this guy back here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select it like this and you can see it, it's detecting a person and around that. Uh, I want to remove also that little black thing because I don't want AI to be adding stuff here. I just want like a clean background and I'm going to again subtract the head. So it's, I'm just going to refine that edge. So we're removing as little as possible, like changing the original as little as possible. Let's click remove. Boom, it's great. You can see it's uh, it's even adding it. You, you see there's like this little black edge here. So it's adding like a piece of something. Uh, let's cycle through three options. Maybe there is an option without it. Two, three, no, let's see all the option have it. Um, if you're not happy with any of these three, you can regenerate so you can click generate and it will regenerate and give you another options for this, bam. There's one without anything here in the back. Let's hit enter. Let's hit enter once again. That's beautiful. There's also this thing now sticking from its, his head, like a tripod maybe or something. Um, let's remove that as well. We're going to use the same feature. Boom, remove. It's much better and it is really quick workflow for those of you who just want to remove things quickly in Lightroom without going to Photoshop, without changing your software, without going anywhere. I think this is a game changer. I think this is actually something that is going to be really useful uh, because you know, going to external editor like Photoshop to edit this or relying on the previous version of generative AI was not as good as this one. I feel like this is way better than what we used to have in the previous versions of Lightroom. Also, if you need to speed up your workflow because you are stuck in your editing cave, consider checking out Imagine. They're not sponsoring this video, but they are my channel sponsor. So I use them to edit all of my wedding photos. It's an AI editing app that learns how you edit in Lightroom and then apply your edits through like thousands of images within a minute. And I personally use Imagine with my own profile, which I train on over 15,000 images that you can actually purchase. There is a link in the description to get my Imagine profile bundled with my presets and like over three hours of editing masterclass. Check it all out if you don't want to stack an editing cave. And thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the very next one. Bye.